Greetings once again, everyone, this morning. Thank you again for tuning in to another five minutes or so with Brother Curtis as we continue speaking about thankfulness. Well, today we find ourselves in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 15, where the Bible says this, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. And that word unspeakable there means indescribable. Uh, it's just things you can't put into words uh, about this gift that he's talking about. If you go back and read uh, chapter 9, and it talks a lot about ministering to the saints. It talks about giving to the poor. It talks about ministering seed to the sower, which means uh, giving to missionaries and supplying for their needs as well. So the whole chapter is talking about giving. Uh, that is also where it talks about, um, you know, the more you... The more you sow, the more that you're going to reap. Well, here uh, we find in the very last verse, that is where the Apostle Paul said this, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. And of course, we know that that's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ and what we have through the Lord Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in John chapter 4, verse 10, remember when he was at the well with the woman of Samaria, that he said this, if thou knewest the gift of God and who it was that saith to thee, <laughs> he was saying to her, listen, if you just knew who I was, Okay, if you knew who the gift of God was, well, well it's me. Then she wouldn't have to be asking uh, these questions that she was asking. Uh, many, a very familiar Bible verse, if not the very first verse everyone ever memorizes, John chapter 3 and verse 16. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And so he gave... And that was our gift. Remember, we talked about John chapter 1, verse 12, that as many as received him. And so we are receiving that gift. That's the indescribable gift that we have. Uh, in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the Bible says this, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through uh, Jesus Christ our Lord. So because of the Lord Jesus Christ, because he came, we have that eternal life that we are going to live forever and ever uh, in heaven uh, after, for those that have received him. Uh, 1 John 5, 11 and 12, the Bible says this, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. So uh, when we receive the Lord Jesus, we are receiving eternal life. The Bible goes on to say in verse 12, he that hath the Son hath life. And he ha that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So the, the very important thing is to make sure we have Jesus, to make sure we have received Jesus, because when we have received him, uh, we've got that in indescribable gift of eternal life. Uh, we can't explain it, can we? Uh, not with our finite minds. Well, not only can we be thankful uh, that we have eternal life through Lord Jesus Christ, but the Bible also tells us in Romans chapter 6, verse 11, it says this, Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead, uh, indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through our Lord Jesus Christ, or through Jesus Christ our Lord. So not only do we have eternal life, the Bible says we are made alive through the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we were dead in our trespasses and sins, but once we received him, we are quickened by the Spirit. Uh, we are made alive. And so that's something else that we have that we should be thankful for, that we are no longer dead uh, but now we have become alive. We are new creatures, the Bible talks about, new creation. And so then uh, also Romans chapter 5 verse 1 says this, uh, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So not only do we have salvation, not only we're we made alive, but the Bible says because of the Lord Jesus Christ, we can now have peace. As a matter of fact, that is how I knew that I was saved. I remember I, I grew up... Uh, through my life and was a good boy, okay? I didn't, uh, I didn't, you know, mess with drugs, didn't smoke, didn't drink. Of course, we know not doing those things don't save you, okay? But it makes us think that we're good, good enough. But you know what? I wasn't good enough. But when I got saved, man, I had a peace that I never had before. Why was that? Because I wasn't the enemy of God no more, okay? I wasn't fighting with the Lord no more. I wasn't having that struggle, and the Lord just gave me a peace, that passes all understanding. Unless you're saved, you don't know anything about that peace which God gives us. So not only peace, but also the Bible goes on to say in verse number 11 of chapter 5 of Romans, and not only so, but we also joy in God 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Okay, we have joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, joy is one of those fruits of the Spirit. Because I am saved, uh, that is one of the things that should come out of my life. It's an expression of uh, expectation of what we have. Listen, it's different from happiness. Happiness, a lot has to do with our uh, maybe surroundings, condition, things that happen, but not joy. Listen, remember the Apostle Paul was in uh, prison when he wrote Philippians, and he said, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Or was that James? Anyway, uh, but Paul, I know that for sure, uh, with, with the um, joy being in a cell, being in a prison cell with under bad conditions where you and I, that whatever we go through, we have still have that joy in our life because we have the presence of God. We know he's there with us and we just praise the Lord, uh, whatever it is that goes and what happens. Like when my mind goes blank and I say things I shouldn't say, things like that, have brain fade or whatever. But you know what? That's, that's what joy. So we have eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, we're made alive through Jesus Christ our Lord. We have peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. We have joy uh, through uh, Jesus Christ our Lord. And then lastly, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57 says this, but thanks be to God, which give us, us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord gives us victory. Uh, victory in Jesus, uh, we like to sing. And we praise the Lord that. We're going to be talking more about that. I believe it's tomorrow. Uh, talk about victory, triumph uh, that we have in God. But you know what? We have victory. And we're going to look at some of, the th uh, of those things uh, later. Right, we're out of time here this morning. But we, all, we have these things because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our uh, unspeakable gift. Well, let's thank God for that. And this... This week, hey, let's just make it a matter of writing some things down about maybe you can think something about how you can have joy. Maybe you've had joy in a situation that uh, before you wouldn't. Maybe it's a because you've been made alive. You understand spiritual things now from where you did. Something maybe that. Maybe a, a peace that you have because of something uh, that you're going through. And just thanking the Lord for eternal life that you know that uh, your last breath here uh, is going to be your first breath in heaven. And so you have a great day, my friend. God bless you. Remember, give thanks uh, unto the Lord and just have an attitude of gratitude one with another. Remember, we are another day closer. God bless you, my friend.